You can build devices as sensors, actuators, and processors and then recombine them to link environmental phenomena to responses in cellular behavior. In this study from my postdoctoral work, environmental cues of hypoxia or high cell density were linked to the ability of the bacteria to invade cancer cells. The actuator device in this study is a single gene device encoding the invasin protein. Invasin is a cell surface localized protein that binds to beta-1 integrins on the surfaces of mammalian cells. Beta-1 integrins are a common cancer-associated epitope. This binding event results in highly efficient invasion of the bacterium into the cancer cell encapsulated in a phagocytic vacuole. When you incubate invasin E. coli with pretty much any cancer cell, the bacteria efficiently invade, but negligible invasion is observed without invasin. These HMT3522 cell lines aren't quite cancer cells. The T42 cell lineage of HMT3522 is an immortalized tumorigenic line that is derived from the immortalized but non-tumorigenic S1 line. At this early progression towards cancer cells, the invasin bacteria are able to distinguish the tumorigenic cells from the harmless S1 cells. Using transcriptional control, it is possible to further narrow the conditions in which the bacteria invade. Here different promoters are put in front of invasin. Placing invasin under the PBAD ARAC sensor device results in bacteria that only invade cancer cells in the presence of arabinose. Placing the low oxygen responsive FDHF promoter in front of invasin results in bacteria that only invade cancer cells under low oxygen conditions. More complex sensor devices can also control invasin. Here the entire lux operon is placed in front of the gene. This quorum sensing device responds directly to homoserine lactone and indirectly to bacterial density. In this cytometry trace, the LUX sensor is placed upstream of GFP and data is flow cytometry of green fluorescence as a function of cell density. There is a sharp transition at the higher cell densities towards activation. Here the same series of cell densities is scanned for the LUX invasin construct in red lines alongside the constitutively expressed invasin in black lines. The bacteria are poorly invasive until they achieve a high cell density, while the constitutively expressed, expressed invasin works at all cell densities. One of the main challenges in joining sensors and actuators as new composite devices is the matching of input and output transcription levels. We speak of promoters and genes as being on or off, but in practice we are always just altering rates of transcription, and these are continuous variables. Thus, these are analog systems and not well thought of as digital. If you were to scan invasiveness as a function of invasin protein concentration, it would have some curve that was monotonically increasing with increased expression up to some maximal value, and then toxicity issues associated with the accumulated protein would affect the viability and function of the bacteria beyond this maximum. Suppose this maximum occurs at a concentration around 700 proteins. We've seen that in the absence of additional translational control, protein expression levels are usually linear with respect to transcription activity. Thus we can describe the actuator's transfer function in terms of input transcription activity, and let's suppose that this reaches a maximum around 700 transcripts per cell. Similarly, we can describe the transfer function of the PBAD promoter system in terms of the transcript it generates as a function of input arabinose concentration. We can infer the response of this system by merging these two transfer functions together. Suppose we grow the bacteria at 10 to the minus 5th molar arabinose. We would expect a transcriptional output around 700 for this rate. 700 transcripts puts us fairly close to the optimal invasiveness. If we do this analysis for all concentrations of arabinose, we can predict the transfer function for invasin as a function of input arabinose concentration. Surprisingly, we get a very non-intuitive curve. The invasiveness has a high efficiency at all the low arabinose concentrations and a low invasiveness at the high arabinose concentrations. 
This mismatch between transfer functions is commonly observed in these aggregate devices, but fortunately they can usually be fixed with a little tuning. The rheostat that is easy to tune in this system is the curve relating transcription activity and translated protein. If we simply tune the RBS, in this case by putting in a weaker translation rate, we can change this transfer function and when we propagate this change through to the entire transfer function of the whole circuit, we get the expected circuit response.